Hello everyone. Just a quick video for those out there that are interested in working with the skierroger.ca website and are not quite sure how to go ahead and post a trip report. So this is how you do it. So first of all, if you're not registered with the website, you go ahead and do so. And then once you've registered, you simply need to click on the sign in to post or edit button as shown here and go ahead and sign into the website using your password. Click login and then you'll be um, faced with a couple questions. Just simply go back to the home page and if you do so you will now see that your name is up in the top left hand corner of the website indicating that you are indeed logged in. Now if you go ahead and you click post a new report as I've done here, the website will take you to a series of boxes that you can go ahead and fill in, the first of which is the title for your report. Then you can go ahead and identify the date at which the trip took place, tell it who was on the ski trip, and then go ahead and just type in a discussion, maybe with a little bit of color to keep the reader's attention. And then once you've done that, then you can move on to selecting the distance ski. Now you don't have to fill this in. You can if you wish. On the other hand, if you just leave it as zero, then that's fine also. The next thing that you want to do then is you'll want to put in some pictures, if you took any pictures during your trip. In this case, I actually want to include three pictures in my report. I've simply named the pictures 1.jpg two and three dot jpeg. You can name them whatever you want, it's fine. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to include the first picture and in the yellow box below it I will type in a caption, something that I want to um, have written below that picture that describes what's going on. And if I wish I can type in additional discussion, really as a separate paragraph below that picture. I can choose to leave this blank, or I can type another paragraph, or just a, as I've got here, just a short little sentence after. Now I'm going to go ahead and put in my second picture here. I'm going to select the file named 2.jpg. I can also put a caption in the yellow below the second picture, as I'm doing so now. And then, as I've done earlier, I can go ahead and put in a, another paragraph below. This would be a third paragraph below that second picture, if I choose to. It's important to note that these boxes, whether it be the caption area in yellow or the discussion area in blue, are expandable. If you grab this little toggle on the bottom right-hand corner, then you can drag that to make it, to expand the area so you can add more text if you wish. Now this works perfectly fine with a Windows laptop as I'm using right now. Depending on your device, it may or may not actually be active. Um, if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. You can still type in your description as you wish. It's just that you won't have that expandable uh, area within the uh, within the report generator. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select a third picture, the 3.jpg. I'm going to fill in the ca caption below in the yellow area. And in this case, I'm not going to follow up with a final discussion below that. I'm just simply going to scroll down. As you can see, I can add up to 12 pictures and uh, really uh, 13 paragraphs. Um, within a given trip report. In the green area here, you can see it's asking for a number. That is the number of which picture you want to have show up on the main page. And in this case, I've decided I'm going to show the second picture. 
in that main page area because perhaps I feel that that's the nicest picture and I want to just have it show up. Um, now finally, we can also include links. Here what I'm doing is I'm going to YouTube and I've identified a cross-country skiing video that I thought I would maybe make mention of in my report. And I'm simply going to go, as you can see here, I'm going to simply take a copy of that URL. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it into the brown area within that website link section. And then below that, again in yellow, I can type in a caption that describes what that YouTube video or what that link is that I'm providing to the readers. And I can do this uh, for, I think it's up to four different links within one uh, trip report. And then before going on, before hitting that red submit button, I'm going down to this select area or category section, and I'm going to click on the areas that best represent the areas that I skied that particular day. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's all sorts of choices to pick from. And in this case, I'm saying that I've skied in the Ribbon Creek area. And it's interesting to note also that in the other box, you can see that we've got some other options, which are just, you know, if you have a, some grooming comments that you want to put in, or maybe it's lost and found, buy and sell, uh, so on and so forth. You can, you can click those also to uh, tag your report. And the purpose of that is so that readers in the future, if they want to search for a particular item or area, they can easily find your report if you properly identify it. Finally then, what we're going to do is then we're going to click on that submit button and it will take the pictures and it will import them into the website and uh, process them within the web pages. I will point out that my camera generates pictures of 5 megabytes in size. So that's 5,000 kilobytes. The web page itself actually will, after it gets a picture, will reduce the size down automatically to, I think it's about 700 kilobytes. Sure, it'll actually be reduced. So if you're working on a, um, on a system that perhaps is limited with the amount or the degree of internet access or capability, you may want to actually, before you upload your pictures, reduce the size down to, say, 700 kilobytes. And that way, they'll upload much quickly, much quicker, and it'll be an easier process for you. So here I am. I'm clicking the red Submit button. And if you just give it a couple seconds, it will automatically pull all that information in. And now if you click that Return to Trip Reports, as we scroll down, you can see my trip report. What I've done is I've clicked on it now, and we can go in and we can see um, how all the pictures are defined and how all the paragraphs are in there. And that link that I um, mentioned earlier with the cross-country skiing, it's in there also. We have the option of clicking Edit up here, as long as we're still logged in, to go in and make further refinements. And once we've refined, then we can scroll down further and we can re-click that red submit button and it will update our report accordingly. And really that's as simple as it is uh, for submitting a trip report on Skier Rod. By the way, what I'm going to do here just before I leave is I'm going to click delete to take this example report out and now as you can see, we're right back to where we start. So let me know if there's any questions. I will post this report in the quick help section of the website so you can find it at any time in the future. Thank you.